Hello and welcome again. My name is Sharon and this is Trio of Witches Tarot. So I am just going to keep continuing to do hug deck, unfair deck comparisons as long as I need to to feel better about everything. Um, yeah, my birthday is coming up. It's the anniversary of my father's passing. Um, was just in May and so my birthday is right before Father's Day. I'm not looking forward to my birthday at all. Um, yeah, with Father's Day right after it too. And I'm just feeling melancholy and then everything else in the world too. It's a rough time for all of us, not just me. So we have two decks. Why are these hug decks? Because both of these decks, they speak to the family and community and friendship and just people that you could encounter in your everyday life or would like wish that they were people that you knew. So we got the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. Um, this is, you know, mass market. It's on Amazon Book Depository, I'm sure, where, wherever you get your decks. Um, this is a slow tarot by Lacey Bryant. It, I ordered it directly from her website. I'm not sure where else you can get it. Maybe other places? I don't know. Okay, so we will open up Light Seers first. So it comes in a two-part box. Has a nice saying inside. As a nice guidebook. I hear tell that on her website there is more info um, similar to the larger guidebook that came with the indie version. I haven't really looked into it that much. So, um, I don't know. I edged mine in green to match the green on the back. It's a... Who makes this? Who produces this? Hey House. Um, it's a thicker cardstock. And, you know, it's a thick deck. I don't ruffle shuffle, so I don't know if you can. I mean, I do know how to ruffle shuffle. I just don't do it because I have other decks that I'm kind of precious with. So I have elaborate and complicated methods of getting my decks mixed up. Um, then we have the Slow Tarot. Comes in a small two-port box. It comes with a very small little pamphlet. It does have meanings for the cards. Um, I think there are interviews or podcasts or something where the artist talks more about the imagery in each card. They are, I believe, paintings of people that she knew. Um, I could be misspeaking and I will do my best to dig up info and provide links below. So those are the backs. Got moths and cups and swords and pentacles and all kinds of stuff. Um, with linen, it feels like game crafter or make playing cards, linen cardstock. This one, you could definitely comfortably ruffle shuffle, I'm sure. Thinking about edging this, like in this brownish burgundy color, I don't think it would bleed through and cause a problem. So each suit in this has a different color border. So set these up. Okay, so these are both um, good decks in regards to diversity. Um, so, and I, I just really like how these are both modern and they depict people that you could expect to see in your own life, depending on where you live, and where you go, and who you know. So we got the fool. Go 
one in the normal direction with the little dog. This one's a little bit different imagery. A lot of geometry in it. The magician. I like both of these. I like her. You got the Ouroboros, so I just noticed that. I didn't miss that before. High Priestess. Empress. I like her, but she doesn't, in the slow terror, she doesn't look happy. She looks even sad, maybe. Oh, also, nudity warning. Too late. But if you don't want to see nude people, you might just not want to watch this. Emperor, those, the energy in both of those the colors, that, that vibrations, like, wow. It's very similar. Hierophant. Preaching to the birds. I like this guy. The lovers. Those also feel really super similar to me house burning down in the background there. Chariot. I think she's riding a bike. I think a luna moth there. It's a lot of energy in this. Strength. These both feel so gentle. Hermit, just sitting out there all alone. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I like the way she's winking at you. Justice is called Balance in the Slow Tarot. cradle there. Huh. Death. This has a something about a New Orleans vibe to me. Temperance. Both of those. So the devil is called temptation in the slow tarot. And I wanted to talk about this a little bit. Um, some people have problems with this card. Um, I've heard people talk about maybe it's body shaming. Um, ditto, representing someone who's got a little extra weight indulging. And I guess I don't see it that way. I see this as someone who is, yes, hedonistic and indulging, but also fine with their body, not ashamed, not worried about the, the curves and the folds. And yeah, she's just tempting you to, to come along and enjoy life's bounty, maybe a little too much. Maybe, you know, hedonistically, ignoring all else. I personally don't see it as, as body shaming or, or, I don't know. You know, I, during the Panda Express, as we like to call it now, I, uh, you know, I gained, I don't know, 30, maybe even 40 extra pounds. And although I, you know, I wanted to lose it. I also didn't worry about it at the time. I just was trying to get by. So I, I, 
I don't see this in the negatively way that, with that negativity that I've heard people talk about it. I don't know, maybe, you know, if you want to talk about this in the comments below, please feel free. Um, I mean, we all have our take on things. We all th see things different ways. You know, maybe there'll be a d some days where I see this differently. Um, but I don't right now. The tower. The star. I love this one. This reminds me of like the much more old style star card that I've seen, that I've read about. I haven't, like, I don't think I have a deck. I'm sure I don't have a deck that actually represents it this way with the sextant and all. But I don't know historically if there were decks where the star was, you know, more of an astronomer or a cartographer than, than like the modern day star card is. So kind of like that throwback. The moon. I like we have the dogs or the dog and the wolf. I don't see. And no crayfish. So neither of these has the crayfish in it. It's interesting it's not a full moon. The sun. It's very bright energy in both of those. Super similar. Judgment. It's diff this is different, right? The interpretation of that. Right? This is a, a rising up from the ashes almost. This is, she's judging herself. You know, if you can tell, but there's the, you know, kind of the hollow mirrors effect there. I feel like she's being hard on herself here. And the world. Got planets here. This is interesting. I wonder if that's like says something there. Okay, so now we got the ones. Oh, goodness, I don't think I ever noticed before that there's actually a salamander crawling up that wand there. Two of ones. The energy of the colors in both of those. Wow. Yeah. Even the people. Very similar. The orange color. The, those are so, wow. So similar. VW man. The three of wands. Four of wands. playing. I like that. Six of Wands. De interesting that this feels like a victory being celebrated by everyone. A victory of everyone and a celebration by everyone for everyone. This is so much more individualistic. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. And this is interesting to me that, you know, you usually you see the Eight Wands, even though this is not your typical, you know, just Eight Wands. Either coming up from the Earth or going down to the Earth. Never sure. I guess it depends on your reading. But that this, the energy is all rather than being dispersed separately, that it's uh, all coming together. The energy is all coming together into one white light like that. Nine of Wands. These both feel very similar. They're both on guard. It 
little tattered, a little worse for the wear. But you know, flowers, the flowers are growing there. She's got a light here. Ten of Wands. Definitely feel the burden. Both of those. This one not as much. She's got someone helping her with her burden and he is carrying it alone. Color palette though. Very similar. I pick up a lot on the color palette and the energy of the light. Page ones. Like both of those. Knight of Wands. I like that he's riding a motorcycle. Again, the, the color palette, the energy. There's, a, there's more energy in this, but there's still a lot of energy in this. Like he's, he's older. She's much younger. He's older, but he's, there's still a lot of life left. The Queen of Wands. It almost looks like these branches are growing out of her head. Like her black cat there. And the King of Wands. Again, very similar energy. These are both really good. I like that he has the lion there. King of the jungle. There's a lamp just out there. I just noticed that. It's just floating out in the sky there. That's interesting. Okay, so now we have cups. I like this. These are very, both very different than, you know, your normal ace of cups. I like them both though. Two of Cups. Like those. Three. These both feel, it's interesting, this is in the daytime, it feels like at least nighttime, but you have the purple back there, and the purple sky here. Four. I like how we've got a someone sneaking around the tree and trying to give the cup to him. The cup's just sitting. Oh, there is a hand underneath it. I've never noticed that before. There's a hand underneath that cup. And she's almost touching it here. She's maybe thinking about accepting that cup. And he doesn't even know it's being offered. Five of Cups. Yeah, he's very upset about the broken glass there. there. She's like actively spilling it almost. These have already been spilled. Six of Cups. Very nostalgic, both of these. I love the use of China in the slow tarot. Seven of Cups. I like how these are so different. These cups are upside down on the ground almost. But kind of still up in the clouds. But he's looking down to choose from them where she's looking up to choose from them. are very similar. The Nine of Cups. It's interesting this is these are both different than what you usually see. It's very active this one is. The wish card and, and 
I don't know, is she just, is she content? Is she unhappy? It's hard to say for sure. She's lived a long life though. And the Ten of Cups, you know, the cups and the rainbow. I like rather than having a rainbow, it's a rainbow of colors of the cups. Page of Cups. Flying pig there. Still, there's a lot of, uh, energetically, these are very, very similar. I feel from them. The Knight of Cups. It's interesting how he's looking back. I almost have a a mer creature there, don't I? And he's looking forward, maybe even waiting for someone to show up at a picnic. The Queen of Cups. Oh, this is amazing. She is amazing. I want to know her. She's beautiful too. And then the King of Cups. Both of these guys are just chill. Totally chill king. They're awesome. Okay, so now swords. This is beautiful. This is interesting because why is there even a sword? It's a staircase in her mind. I don't think I, I always thought this was a shell and now that I look at it more closely, it's a staircase. A lot of geometry, but no sword anywhere. Interesting. Two of swords. Pretty typical with the, with the blindfold, but no swords in it. I, honestly, I don't remember if any of the swords have swords in them in the light seers. We will find out. And this is interesting that it's two people fencing on rocks rather than one person blindfolded and needing to make a choice. Interesting. And there we are. Hearts being stabbed. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with this imagery and I like that some of my decks have it and some of my decks don't. Four of Swords. Somebody lying underneath there. Yep, just relaxing. Sky is beautiful in that. So these are, what are these? They look like, uh, needles or, or needles from some kind of plant or something, not really swords. Five of swords. It's interesting because he looks like he's the defeated and the, def you know, the victor is over here and she's the victor and he's the defeated down here. It's interesting what each one is focusing on, the difference that the focus is. The Six of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Very, very similar, right? Although he's doing it outdoors and he's Stealing something from someone's home, then I guess. Cat's just watching. Eat of swords. This feels kind of like the, the judgment card here in the slow tarot. And he could obviously get away. I mean, it, 
this is all just in her mind, obviously, right? Because this is her here and she's fine. The Nine of Swords. So yeah, not, not really any swords. I wonder, if, uh, wonder if she talks about that at all, how she doesn't have the weapons and why, why she chose to not do that. Ten of Swords. A little gory. Both have the birds flying around. But she's like, she's still standing even. It's interesting. It feels like, I mean, obviously that's a very different message than this is, isn't it? Page of Swords. It's got a lot of light bulbs over her head. She's learning. There is a sword in this one though, but she's walking on it. Do you just feel the energy in these? The youthfulness. So similar. The Knight of Swords. This is that same guy from, uh, what was it? The Seven? Yeah. Looks like the same guy, same white hoodie. He's got shorts here, but long pants here, but he's running away to get on this motorcycle, it looks like. I like the uh, very traditional imagery in this one. The Queen of Swords. And they are both bitching. They are amazing. It has some, somewhat of a Game of Thrones feel to it, doesn't it? And the King of Swords. And these two kings. Again, just like the... Was it the King of Cups? Where he was just totally chill. These guys feel, again, totally chill and so similar. He's got a little teeny bit of the Game of Thrones vibe, but not much, but wow. Okay, so the pentacles, focusing more on the worldly wealth and the coins here, and this is more earthy, things growing. Let's see if that plays out throughout the whole suit. The two of coins. So yeah, you got the juggling, the balancing. Three. I love this image. I was pulling when I, my husband and I went and cared for his uh, sister's kids, watched them over. I mean, they're mostly older. But their daughter is younger, and she hung out with us a lot. And I brought this deck with me and pulled this card a lot. This one, and and we were doing, you know, the three of us were doing a lot of stuff together, so it was just, it was perfect. I think I was also getting the Ten of Pentacles a lot when, when we were there. This is cool, too, though. And the four... And these two have a very, very similar feel to me as well. The five. Interesting, it's almost like a Alice in Wonderland. She, the door is huge. And the key's right there. Is she too small to open it? And this one looks like money is floating down into his cup. Is he like sitting on the street begging? The six. Wow, these are like the energy in these. Even though you know you have a full figure here of this this whole blue with the pink and the gold and the background feels like almost feels like this is a blow up of this part of this. The 
seven. It's very interesting. So you know, here's that. Here's that. Definitely that juxtaposition of of watching something grow, as opposed to gambling and taking chances. I mean, obviously, when you garden, you're taking chances that the stuff is going to grow. Not the weather isn't going to cause problems, or you're not going to get. Bugs coming and eating everything. This seems more like a solid bet though than this does. This guy's cheating even. Eight. This feels a lot like the Three of Pentacles was in the Light Seers. Hmm. Nine. I like both of them. And ten. This one certainly feels much more wistful. Like this is a photograph of a family just long gone, as opposed to this is the present, the tree of life there. And there's a snake in this one. This one feels so bittersweet. Page. Selling our lemonade. The night. I like this dude just hanging out with this car. The queen. They are both awesome. Just hanging out. Yeah, the world is good. Everything's good. Just relax. Take it easy. Don't stress out. The world's got you. And the king. And again, a couple of chill kings. Sneak again there. Very chill. Both very chill decks, chill people. So that was the slow tarot and the light seers tarot. There's the book there. There's the little book here. Let me put it at the top. So yeah, again, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other. Reach out when you can to help somebody or reach out when you need help. Get help if you need it. Take care of yourself, you deserve it. Thanks, thanks for watching and have a nice day.